guys, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing DIY at home nails with you guys. I've done my nails once before. This time, I decided to show you guys a few more extra things that I got just to make things a little bit more easier. So let's get right into the video. Smash this thumbs up and let's get this video started. All right, so here are what my nails look like right now. Um, I haven't had nails on for a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and just push my cuticles back a little bit. I have this cuticle pusher, and you know, obviously sometimes we have skin that's growing, so you just wanna push those back so that when you're putting on the tips, if you are putting on tips, that little piece of skin that just happens to grow there will not be in the way. And I'm just doing it very gently because I'm not doing a manicure. Um, I'm just pushing back the cuticles to make room for the tips that I'm going to put on. Very simple, nothing crazy. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the shine off of my nail. Even though I have done it before, I'm just gonna do it again lightly. This nail file I got off of Amazon and it has many different sides to it. Coarse grit, medium grit, fine grit. I'm gonna use the fine grit. And you mainly want to focus on the cuticle and the edges of the nail because that's where the false nails will be sticking to. Just like that. Okay, so now that I'm done filing off all the natural shine on my nails to look like this, I'm going to go ahead and just dust off the excess nail dust. <laughs> Okay, and obviously I'm just gonna make sure that I did them all properly, but when you're done, they should look filed off like that as best as possible. Perfect, so now that we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and start to prepare my nails for the nail tips that I'm gonna put on. So I ordered these jelly tips from Kiara Sky. Um, I actually found it on Instagram. Um, and they also have a nail kit that gives you the nail prep, the nail builder, and the top coat. And those are like the main four things that you need to kind of get your nails started. So I'm gonna go ahead with the nail prep. And um, this video is not sponsored by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one coat of nail prep to my nail. Each nail will get the prep. And as you guys can see, one dip goes a long way. So you don't need to constantly dip again. And this is pretty much just like drying off your nails. Next, I'm gonna move on to step two, which is the primer. And again, we're just applying one coat. I'm done prepping. I went ahead and opened up my case of jelly tips and I'm gonna make sure that I size it right before I go ahead and make sure I'm putting it on permanently. So I'm sizing it like this. I'm making sure it's going on my nail, but it's not too far. It's not going off too far on the sides. So you just take different numbers. They're numbered double zero to nine. Um, and that way you can see which ones you need. I like how this one's fitting right now. The other one was a little bit too off on the corners of my fingers even though this nail is really broken right now. <laughs> I think I like the way this one looks. So if you like the way it looks, you have to go ahead and lightly remove the shine on the inside of this nail. And I also ordered their nail drill. Given that we can't be at nail salons right now, um, that was my best bet because we didn't know how long we we're gonna be in quarantine for so I have this nail bit and I ordered these on Amazon these um, nail bit sanding papers um, they come off and on very easily so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my nail drill on and take it out of here and there's like this little dial right here you turn it on and it lights up um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that inside. Okay, so again, I'm gonna turn on my nail drill. It doesn't need to be on that high because we're just sanding down the shine on the inside of the nail. So I'm gonna sand this down a little bit. Okay, and that's it. 
that's all it should look like. I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but you know, I just sanded it off a little bit. And this is when I start using the builder, which is number three from the kit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is apply a thin layer of the builder to my natural nail, and I'm gonna cure it under the lamp for 30 seconds. So this is the flash lamp that they have. I'm just gonna apply it on my nail. Thin layer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my nail under the lamp. 30 seconds. Okay, now that I'm done putting the first layer of the builder on my natural nail, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of the same builder to the jelly tip nail. Now I'm gonna put it on my natural nail, making sure it's exactly where I want it. And if I think it looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the lamp. Once I've been holding it for a few seconds, it's okay to let go and let the rest of the nail cure. And as time goes on, you can feel the nail bonding better and getting a little bit more tighter. Okay, so now the nail is on. Perfectly fine, and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps for the rest of this hand. Okay, so my first hand is now complete, and it looks like this. I went ahead and repeated the same steps at the beginning for all the rest of the nails. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this hand started and I'll show you guys when they're both completely finished. Okay, so now the full set is finished. As you guys can see, all of my nail tips are on. Um, with the jelly um, builder, sometimes there may be some gel buildup, but I'm already gonna go ahead, um, after that last step of putting all the nails on, I'm gonna file all of these nails to get the shiny coat off to begin putting on our color. One easy thing that I found, once I was finished with the first hand, I would just look at the tiny little number, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but all of these nail tips have numbers. I would literally just look at the color of the tip on this hand and then just copy it on this hand. So I didn't have to go through the whole container again um, to know what number I needed because my hands are symmetrical and I think everyone's hands are symmetrical. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the file started and once again the file is gonna help get any excess gel like I already did it on this finger here. Um, if you guys can see here I have some excess gel right above my cuticle and when I file it's just gonna come right off. And you can get um, clear gel tips on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find some other websites. Um, I just found that Kiara Sky had a lot of a lot of things that I needed in one place, and it was just easier for me to just pay shipping once and get everything. But I'm pretty sure you guys can find deals um, anywhere else. Um, I got a different nail lamp for my whole nails. Like say I only wanted to just change the color, I can put all my nails in at once. But I find that this nail lamp is very convenient for putting on the gel tips especially because you have to hold it while it's under the lamp and the first time I did my nails I used the regular lamp and it was really hard to try to fit two hands under that one lamp so that that was really convenient and that's also why I went ahead and I picked up um, the Beyond Pro Flash Cure um, LED lamp it says it right there all right so I'm just gonna finish filing my nails sometimes these tips have like a little plastic um, piece that kind of sticks out here and I'm just gonna get rid of that but I don't want to change the nail shape too much because they already come pre-shaped um, and I, I already love how they are. To speed things up a bit I went ahead and got my nail buffer um, on the nail drill. If you don't have one you can obviously use your nail file but um, if you do I mean I think this is gonna make things a lot easier. I find that if I keep this on a low setting, it's a lot better. So I have it at about a five right now. And that's kind of how I have it, how it's 
starting to look like the other nails that I filed already. All right, so now that my first hand is done being filed, it should look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over any light spots that the machine didn't get. Once again, it's really up to you what your preference is. I just like to make sure that it's really down, especially on the sides, because we want the polish to stick very well. Alright, so this hand is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and buff this hand as well, and then we can finally polish. Alright, I am finished filing both of my hands, and now is the exciting part. I get to paint my nails. I did go ahead and order some nail colors from them. I tried to find some on Amazon, but I don't know. I didn't really like the color selection, but I will be finding some more gel colors. Um, this is an ombre color, so it changes um, with temperature. If my hands are cold, it'll be really dark blue, and if my hands are warm, it'll turn to this nice purplish blue right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails. All right, gave my nails a quick wash, and now we're going to paint. I'm gonna make sure I shake this really well. So I'm gonna apply a thin layer. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in the nail light. Okay, so my first layer is done. I'm gonna do a second layer and then apply a top coat. All right, I went ahead and applied a third layer to my nails. Obviously, I need to work on my <laughs> nail painting skills a little bit more, but I mean, it'll do the job for now since no nail salons are open. So now I'm gonna go ahead with my top coat apply a nice thick layer but not too much and whenever you apply a top coat you always want to make sure you seal the sides and the ends because if you ever notice your polish comes off after you leave the salon they probably didn't seal it so I'm just gonna go like that and just make sure I get those sides and whatnot Perfect. Alright. Alright, so the nail is done. As you can see, it looks like this. I mean, that's pretty good for an at home nail. I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest, and I will show you guys the full set once it's completely finished. Right here is my nails painted with the color that I showed you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some Nourish Oil. And as you can see, one dip goes a long way. My left hand sucks, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> my left hand is horrible. But, I mean, whose hand wouldn't be if you're predominantly right-handed? All right, so the last thing I wanna show you guys is that these nails are ombre. They change with temperature, so I'm gonna put my hands in cold water and show you the color that it changes to. All right, so this hand just came out of warm water. This is the hand that was just in the cold water. So as you can see, it's a big difference now. So. It can get darker than this, but my tap is just taking forever to get super cold. But yeah, that's what they'll do. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be the end of my DIY at home nails tutorial. If you guys love this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other content you guys would love to see from me. I know you guys want cooking videos. That will be the next video I'll be uploading. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.